Every once in a while, a revolutionary 3D printer mod comes along. That changes everything. In 2021, we introduced the Klemco Volcano, which increased print speeds up to four times. This didn't just change the Ender 3s, it changed the entire 3D printing industry. Later that year, we introduced the Ender 3000, which further increased print speeds by 3000%. But we're not stopping there. Today, we are reinventing print speed with the Bontech CHT nozzle. Its patented inlet geometry allows increased print speeds with a simple nozzle change. The CHT nozzle is compatible with most 3D printers on the market. I'm installing this on the stock Ender 3 V2 hot end, so I'll be using an MK8 nozzle. Use the wrench that came with your Ender 3 to loosen the nozzle. You may need to use a crescent wrench to prevent the hot end from rotating. While I'm in here, I'm going to replace the stock heat brake with an all-metal heat brake. This step is optional, but most 3D printers come with a PTFE-lined hot end. If you have any birds in your house, you definitely shouldn't use a PTFE-lined hot end. Unscrew these two screws from the bottom, unscrew this set screw, and the whole heater block should come right out. This is a little hard to loosen because there's solidified plastic in the threads. Now this is tightened down all the way, and I'll install the CHT nozzle on the other side. And we'll follow this up with a hot tightening. I'm gonna insert it in here and tighten this set screw down. Then we can put these two lower screws back into the hot end. I don't really need this extra length right now, so I'm just gonna cut it off. Now I just need to do a hot tightening of the nozzle. So I'll set this to the maximum temperature of 260 degrees. I'll be following a guide from Stefan from CNC Kitchen to test the extrusion speed before and after the upgrade. Starting at 26 cubic millimeters per second, I've heard occasional clicks out of the extruder. I'm gonna turn up the stepper drivers just a little bit. So just by turning that stepper VREF up, I've eliminated those skipped steps and it looks like it's working great now. I heard my first little mini skipped step, so I imagine the limit isn't too far above this 40 cubic millimeters per second. Most of this print was done at 30 cubic millimeters per second. And you can see there's all sorts of issues here. This has nothing to do with the nozzle. This is just the Ender 3 V2 kind of breaking down when it's printing that fast. The extruder really isn't designed to go that fast, and neither is the firmware that's installed on the board. You can see up at the top here, the print quality is immaculate. I had to turn the print speed down to 10 cubic millimeters per second to get this quality. This printed at an average speed of 30 cubic millimeters per second. It's got these characteristic Bowden tube artifacts, where when the printer speeds up and slows down, it over extrudes a little bit. Here you can really see what I'm talking about. All the walls are a little bit thinner. Wherever the print head was changing direction, it's thicker. I also printed out this hexagonal organizer. See all these blobs? The printer starts to lag a little bit, and it pauses because it doesn't know what to do because it can't think fast enough, and a little bit of extra plastic seeps out there. If we take a close look at both of these benches, you'll probably conclude that the quality was actually reduced by using the CHT hot end. The Stock Ender 3 is well optimized for doing detailed parts at a slow speed. Anytime you try to speed things up, you run into a number of issues. In the next couple of videos, I'm going to be upgrading the part cooling and the extruder to keep up with the demands of this nozzle. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up with the latest 3D printer upgrades. I'll leave links in the description of where you can pick up your own CHT nozzle. Today, we're introducing another revolutionary product. We call it Eye Nozzle. Wait a minute, what is this? This is a terrible idea, that looks like a fire hazard. 